will start our second chapter that is noun phrases okay as you all have been acquainted with this word phrase this is a group of words okay a noun phrase is a group with a noun as a main word it is a group okay a phrase as a group of words with a noun as a main word or head of the phrase okay in which a noun is treated as the main word or head of the phrase for example climb the mountain okay wrote a book okay or sits on a chair okay so these all are noun phrases it is what a noun phrase is a group with a noun as the main word or head of the phrase okay now see there one more definition there may be some more words in a noun phrase okay there may be some more words in a noun phrase apart from the noun okay apart from the noun there may be some more words in the noun phrase these words are known as modifiers these words are known as modifiers and what these they modifier do modifiers give additional information about the noun okay modifiers give additional information about the noun okay so now we are talking about two types of modifiers there is pre modifier and second one is post modifier now we will learn what are these two modifiers okay about these two types of modifier pre modifier and post modifier okay now students we will talk about pre modifiers okay as the name suggests pre what it means what it means it is means which comes before something okay which is previous to something okay pre modifiers okay so they basically come before noun in a noun phrase okay they can be of four types okay first one is determiners okay like a and the okay a and they are articles as well as determiners also they fall in the category of determiners possessive pronoun such as my your or his her these also and demonstratives like this that these those demonstrative pronouns like this okay also fall in the category of determiners okay ordinal second one is ordinals these are the words that indicates order and sequence okay these are the words which indicate order and sequence okay such as first the so first what what does this word first have the order okay second third fourth last okay next okay so these are the words that indicate order and sequence okay are also pre modifiers in the noun phrase quantifiers quantifiers means measuring words okay are known as quantifiers which tell about the quantity of something for countable nouns such as as few uh, such as few many several okay for countable nouns these words are used as quantifiers as few many several and words used with uncountable noun such as a uh, small quantity of a huge amount of okay so in this in this phrase this small and huge are just quantifiers for the uncountable nouns here yeah. small quantity or huge amount okay fourth one is adjectives in the noun phrase has only one adjective but it says if a noun phrase has only one uh, if a noun phrase has only one adjective and a noun then the adjective must place before the noun as in a good friend okay see what it says if a noun phrase has only one adjective and a noun then the adjective must be placed before 
the noun as in this phrase you can say a good friend okay so friend is what noun and good is what adjective so in this phrase adjective must be placed before the noun okay now students we will talk more about the modifiers okay see for example the sentence the first few good students of the english language okay the first few good students of the english language now see there is an order following okay and this also an order is following that first which modifier would be placed like the the determiner is placed at the first then this ordinal will be placed next to determiner then comes quantifier then comes adjective then now okay and now all of these all of these the first few good as a whole are known as pre modifiers because they are placed before the noun okay or the head of the sentence this we are talking about students okay after that see this of is a preposition and then this english language the english language you can say as a whole the english language as a whole is a noun phrase okay remember it is a noun phrase but actually the head of the noun or main word is this the students okay and hence this uh, of the english language as a whole of the english language as a whole is known as post modifier okay got it come post after the main word or the noun okay now students we will learn about post modifiers okay as it is suggested by the name post modifier means a modifier which come after the noun okay so first one is proportional phrase okay proportional phrase okay see a proportional a proportion requires an object okay a proportion requires an object to complete its meaning to complete its meaning therefore a proportional phrase has a proportion as its main word therefore a proportional phrase has a proportion as its main word followed by its object means like this you can see in is a proportion and it's followed by its object which is the park okay therefore a proportional phrase has a proportion as its main word and followed by its object okay proportional phrase in itself is a post modifier now for example the zebra in the park okay uh, the is a determiner here this the is a pre modifier to this one okay see the modifiers change according to the position okay see this one this the here is the pre modifier because it comes before the noun here this the noun which is zebra but here you can see it is also the determiner but comes after the noun here it behaves like a post modifier in this prepositional phrase okay so the zebra in the park so this in the park act as the post modifier and which we call prepositional phrase okay this is the post modifier comes after the noun okay one more thing i want to tell you that there is also a noun park okay there is also a noun park and in the this one is pre to this noun previous to this noun so you may think that there is also a noun and why this in the is not a pre modifier why in this sentence it is post modifier because 
although park is a noun but the head or the main noun main word which we are talking about is zebra not the park okay that's why this zebra is the main word head of the statement of the of the sentence and this park is the part of this proposal phrase this one now. okay second one adverbs adverbs can also act as post modifier in a noun phrase adverbs can also act as post modifiers in a noun phrase like the way out is not yet clear okay the way out is not yet clear the is a determiner acting as a pre modifier okay way is noun main verb out is a adverb here now this is a noun phrase it's called a noun phrase so adverbs can act also act as a post modifier in a noun phrase see in this noun phrase adverb is the post modifier while this the the determiner the is the pre modifier okay so adverbs can also act as the post modifier in a noun phrase so from these two statements we get that how preposition and adverbs are acting as a pre uh, sorry post modifiers okay that's all for this chapter rest of uh, you you can get it from the notes okay thank you